Hello and thank you for using iGuard Data Copy Protection USB Key. In this video, I will show you how to get started quickly at using all of the features of this innovative security storage device. The iGuard Data Copy Protection USB Key can be used like any other USB drive. The core difference is that you will need to create a password that will protect all information you will be downloading into the USB Key. The password and the data are protected by strong 256-bit encryption. One important feature that is unique to iGuard Data USB is that all the data stored on the key will automatically be copy protected. This means that once the data is in the iGuard Data USB, you will not be able to copy, paste, drag and drop, email, print, screen capture, or send to FTP or cloud storage unless you have authorization from your system administrator. You can, however, still work on edit, modify, rename, or delete any of the files that are on the key. An important fact is in the event of a lost or stolen iGuard Data USB drive, please notify your system administrator immediately. The lost or stolen USB drive will be assigned a self-destruct command from your system administrator and all the data on a USB key will be formatted and cannot be recovered. So let's get started. After inserting the USB drive on your computer, click iGuardData.exe to start the application. After reviewing and accepting the Term of Use Agreement, you will then be asked to enter your password. Your password should be 8 to 12 characters with a combination of letters and numbers. Special characters are also accepted. You will then be asked to re-enter your password to open the secure browser that will give you access to the drive. You can now copy files and document to it. Remember that once you copy your files to the USB key, they are not copy protected and you cannot remove them out of the key unless the drive policies have been set accordingly by your system administrator. As you can see from this example, I opened this Excel file and modified the content, but I cannot email. or save or print One additional security feature is the ability to safely download files from a departmental cloud folder assigned to you by your organization. The data contained on that folder is controlled by your department manager or system administrator. To access your assigned folder, click on the download button on the toolbar. The user validation pop-up screen will then open, prompting you to enter your full name and email address. The information you must enter has to be the same as registered by your system administrator. Then click on the send mail button. You will then receive an email from your iGuard Data cloud server with a certification code to enter at the bottom of the validation pop-up screen. Please note that the certification code is case sensitive. You can click OK on a confirmation and your assigned folder browser will now open. You have the option of changing several parameters on your iGuard Data USB drive like password changes, password entry limits, formatting your USB, help files, and your iGuard Data Cloud Server IP information. This now concludes our Getting Started tutorial. We would like to thank you again for choosing iGuard Data as your USB DLP solution and hope that you'll find it easy and intuitive to use. If you have any questions, 
click on the link below to send us your question and comment. Thank you.